Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Science. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 28th January 2021, we are going to revise question is in a concave and a convex mirrors. Our website is dictoteachers.co.ug. Here find notes, exams, and their marking guides in the physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Or in YouTube website, in the search, type in digital teachers, Uganda. You will be given categories of videos in physics, chemistry, biology, math, and primary subjects. Please subscribe to promote my videos. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the Lock of Ages Primary School. Number one A, distinguish between a real and virtual images. B, derive an expression relating focal length F of a convex mirror to object distance U and image distance V. You can pause and answer. A, a real image is one that is formed by intersection of rays from an object and it can be formed on a screen. A virtual image is one that is formed by apparent intersection of rays from an object that cannot be formed on a screen. B. Consider incidence of ray OX onto a convex mirror from a point object O and reflect along XK making an angle theta with the normal XN. The ray OP incident normally at P is reflected along PO. From the triangle from the triangle C X I C X I B is equal to theta plus lambda. Beta is the exterior angle. Therefore, theta is equal to beta minus lambda. From triangle O, I, X, two theta, the exterior angle is equal to alpha plus beta. And this gives us equation two. This is equation one. Substituting theta in equation two, Equation 2, 2 into beta minus lambda is equal to alpha plus beta. Negative 2 lambda is equal to alpha minus beta. When x is equal to p, angle alpha, beta, and lambda are small. That tan alpha is equal to alpha is equal to xp over u. 
tan beta is equal to beta is equal to xp over negative v because the image is virtual tan lambda is equal to lambda is equal to xp over negative r because the center of curvature is virtual substituting alpha beta lambda in equation 3 then we can say that 2 xp over r the, the negative will cancel is equal to xp over u plus this is negative the negative will cancel plus xp over v Cancelling xp this is the same as 2 over r is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v but r is equal to 2 f substituting it becomes 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v and this is the mirror equation number 2a describe how the focal length of a convex mirror can be measured using a convex lens of known focal length you can pause and answer one the apparatus is arranged as above two the object o is placed in front of a convex lens l and its image formed at c the distance l c is measured and recorded for a convex mirror with focal length f is required is placed between l and c with a reflecting surface facing the lens Five, the lens is moved along the axis O, C until a converging beam incident normally on the mirror forms its image at O. The distance LP is measured. PC is equal to LC minus LP. The focal length F is equal to PC over 2. B, the plane mirror P in the figure below is adjusted to a position 8.0 cm from the optical pin. The image of the pin coincides with its image in the convex mirror M. Calculate the focal length of a convex mirror M. You can pause and answer. The mirror is 8 cm from the object. So the mirror is 2 cm from the convex mirror. The virtual object of the mirror again is 8 cm from the plane mirror virtual object distance is equal to 8 minus 2 then image distance distance v is equal to 10 centimeters from 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v 1 over f is equal to negative 1 over 6 because the object is virtual plus 1 over 10 
f is equal to negative 15. Negative because focal length is virtual. 3a, state laws of reflection. You can pause and answer. First law, the ray of incidence, the reflected ray, and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane. Second law, the angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. Number 3B show with aid of a red diagram that the radius of a curvature is twice the focal length of a mirror. Five max. You can pause and answer. Consider reflection of a paraxial ray AX. A paraxial ray is one which is parallel and close to principal axis. Rays parallel to the principal axis are reflected through principal focus F. The normal to the mirror always passes through the center of curvature C. Therefore, Cx is the normal. Angle AXC is equal to angle CXF from the second law of reflection, where the angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. Angle AXC is equal to angle XCF because these are alternative angles. Angle XFP is equal to the sum of angle CXF plus XCF. So this is 2i. Is the sum of i plus i because this is an exterior angle. When x is equal to p, angle i, angle to i as small, that tiny i is equal to i, is equal to xp over r. And tan 2i is equal to 2i is equal to xp over f. Substituting i in equation 2, we can say that 2 xp over r is equal to xp over f. When you cross out xp, we can say that 2 over r is equal to 1 over f. By cross multiplying, r is equal to 2. F. Number 4A, define focal length of a concave mirror. You can pause and answer. The focal length of a concave mirror is the distance between the pole of the mirror and a point where incident rays parallel and close to principal axis converge after reflection by the mirror. For B, use a geometrical ray diagram to derive 1 over U plus 1 over V is equal to 1 over F for a concave mirror. You can pause and answer. Consider the incidence of a ray OX to the curved mirror from a point object O placed along the principal axis and reflected along XI. Remember that all the normals to the mirror pass through the center of curvature C. 
Si the ray OP incident normally at P is reflected along PO. Triangle O XC beta is equal to alpha plus theta. Those are B is an exterior angle. Triangle C XI lambda is equal to beta plus theta. Substituting theta in equation 2, lambda is equal to beta plus beta minus alpha, which is equal to 2 beta minus alpha. Or 2 beta is equal to lambda plus alpha. When x is equal to p, angle alpha, beta, and lambda are very small. That tan alpha is approximately equal to alpha is equal to xp over u. Tan beta is equal to beta is equal to xp over r. Then tan lambda is equal to lambda is equal to xp over v. Substituting alpha, beta, and lambda in equation 3, then we have 2xp over alpha is equal to xp over, over v plus xp over u. Crossing out xp, all you get 2 over r is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v or 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v 5a draw a red diagram to show how a concave mirror forms real image of real object placed perpendicular to its principal axis. You can pause and answer. Solution. A concave mirror forms real image when the object is placed beyond the principal focus F. So we expect one of these diagrams. When object between F and C, the ray from the object parallel to the principal axis is reflected through the principal focus. Then the ray through the center of curvature is reflected along its own path to form an image which is inverted, magnified, and real. Object at C the ray parallel to the principal axis is reflected through the principal focus. The ray through the principal focus is reflected parallel to principal axis. Where they meet, you have the image. The image is the same size as the object and the same distance from the mirror as the object. The object beyond the sea. The ray parallel to the principal axis is reflected through the principal focus. The ray through the principal focus is reflected parallel to the principal axis. And the intersection, you get the image, which is real, diminished, and inverted. Number 5 would be describe an experiment including a graphical analysis of the results to determine the focal length of a concave mirror using no parallax method. You can pause and answer. The setup is as follows. The object pin is placed in front of a concave mirror at distance u such that its tip is on the principal axis of the mirror. Two, a such pin is placed between object pin and the mirror 
and used to locate the position of the image by no parallax. And image distance V is measured. Three, several values of V are determined by varying the distance U. The values U, V, UV, and U plus V are tabulated. A graph of UV against U plus V gives a straight line whose gradient is equal to the focal length F. So when you plot UV against U plus V, you get a straight line whose slope is equal to F. Number six, a concave mirror forms an image half the size of the object. The object is then moved towards the mirror until the image is three quarters the size of the object. The image moved a distance of 0.6 cm. Calculate one, focal length of the mirror. Two, new position of the object. You can pause and answer. Solution from magnification is equal to V over U. In the case one, half is equal to V over U. Therefore, V is equal to a half U. In the case two, when the image moved the distance of 0 0.6, V plus 0 0.6 over U is equal to 3 over 4. Therefore, V plus 0 0.6 is equal to V over 4 U. This is equation 2. So substituting V in equation 2, then a half U plus 0 0.6 is equal to 3 quarter U. U will be equal to 2.4. From equation 1, V will be equal to U over 2, which is equal to 1.2 centimeters from 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v 1 over f is equal to 1 over 2.4 plus 1 over 1.2 calculation gives us f is equal to 0 0.8 centimeter 2 from 1 f is equal to 0 0.8 V is equal to 1.2 plus 0 0.6, which is equal to 1.80 centimeter. From 1 over F is equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. 1 over 0 0.8 is equal to 1 over U plus 1 over 1.8. U is equal to 1.44. The new object position, therefore, is equal to 1.44 centimeters number seven an object is pressed 40 centimeters in the front of a convex lens of focal length 15 centimeter forming an image on the screen a convex mirror situated four centimeters from the lens in the region between the lens and the screen forms Final image beside C O. Romani one, draw a red diagram to show how the final image is formed. Romani two, determine the focal length of the convex mirror. You can pause and answer. Romani one, the diagram is as follows. The object is 40 centimeters from the lens. The, the convex mirror is 4 centimeters from the lens. Without the convex mirror, the object of the lens forms at C. In the presence of a convex mirror, the image forms besides O. For the convex lens, without the convex mirror, U is equal to 40, F is equal to 15.
from 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. 1 over 15 is equal to 1 over 40 plus 1 over v. v is defined to be 24. Therefore, our 24 is from here up to here. This is equal to 24. Then, at this distance 2f, 2f is equal to 24 minus 4, 2f is equal to 20, f is equal to 10. Therefore, focal length of mirror is equal to 10 centimeters. Number 8, a plane mirror is placed 10 centimeter from a convex mirror so that it covers half of the mirror surface. A pin 20 centimeters in front of the plane mirror gives an image pin that coincides with object pin in the convex mirror. Find the focal length of the convex mirror. You can pause and answer. The, the object is 20 centimeters from the plane mirror. Therefore, the image of the plane mirror is 20 centimeters from the image of the convex mirror. Therefore, the object distance of convex mirror is equal to 10 plus 20, which is equal to 30. And the, the image distance of the convex mirror will be equal to 20 minus 10, which is equal to 10. From 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. 1 over f is equal to 1 over 30 plus 1 over negative 10 because the image is virtual. Therefore, f is equal to 15. Number 9, a plane mirror is placed at distance d in front of a convex mirror of focal length f such that it covers about half the mirror surface. A pin placed at a distance l in front of the plane mirror gives an image on it which coincides with that of the pin in the convex mirror with the aid of an illustration so that 2df is equal to d squared minus l squared. You can pause and answer. The setup is as follows. For convex mirror, focal length is f. Object distance is equal to l plus d. Image distance is equal to l minus d. From 1 over f is equal to 1 over u plus 1 over v. 1 over f is equal to 1 over L plus D plus 1 over negative because it is a virtual image L minus D. This is the same as 2D over negative L minus D squared in bracket. This is the same as D squared minus L squared over 2D. F is equal to D squared minus L squared over 2D or 2DF is equal to d squared minus l squared. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here find notes, exams, and their marking guides in physics, chemistry, biology, math and primary subjects or on youtube website in search type in digital teachers uganda you will be given categories of videos in physics chemistry biology math and primary subjects 
please subscribe to promote my videos. Subscription is free. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. The best primary school in Uganda is the local of Ages Primary School.